Dude, holy crap. Calabunga, dude! <laughs> yeah. We're in the midst of a rainstorm, and I just wanna show you guys what the LA River looks like right now, cause this shit is crazy. No, I mean, the rain died down a lot, but dude, the river this morning when I looked at it was raging, so I'm curious to see if it's still like that. Damn. Oh yeah, bro, it is at three level. Dude, it's raging. Okay, to give you some context, if you've never seen the LA River on a normal day, it's normally like pretty much dry. There's like probably 10, 15 feet of water flowing through this thing right now. It's normally like a completely dry, concrete, freaking thing. And now it's this. Dude, this is crazy. I've never seen it like this. Yeah, I've seen it like this a couple times, but last night, Oh boy, it was two feet from the top. Right that, there. Yeah. That was really high. Crazy. Oh, that's crazy. crazy. Okay, I literally just posted the vlog from yesterday. I know it was a little bit late. I'm gonna be better about getting it on time. Hopefully today, this one that you're watching right now was posted at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Today is an editing day. Oh. I passed out. Let's go. All right, clips are exported from Premiere Pro. Gotta do some uploads, gotta write a um, YouTube description, figure out a title, and make a thumbnail now. All right, it's like midnight. I did very little vlogging today, but it's my job, dude. Anyway, I'm gonna go for a run. on this vlog. However, I wanted to talk a little bit today about doing shit that's hard because it's good for you. It doesn't always feel good in the moment, but in the long run, it pays dividends. Like for example, I'm out here running in the rain. This might sound crazy, but I actually love running in the rain. It's a nice way to cool off. It's kind of enjoyable for me. I don't get to do this all the time. I also enjoy running in the rain because it's difficult, because I don't necessarily want to do it until I'm actually doing it. Once I'm doing it or I'm done, then it's cool. Then I feel really good about it. In the moments leading up to it, it kind of fucking sucks because I'm like, shit, it's cold. I don't want to leave my nice warm house to go outside in the elements where it's uncertain, there's danger. In my experience, that's part of what makes life worth living is the struggles. If you just had a cushy life and everything was easy all the time, It'd be pretty freaking boring and you wouldn't get any better. I don't think I would find any sense of satisfaction out of that. Now, that being said, you're watching this video in which I took like a two hour nap today because I leaned into that comfort and I gotta be better than that. Granted, I did get all my work done after the fact, but I allowed myself to be lazy and that I'm not okay with. So I expect more out of myself, but also I recognize that you have to rest, right? There, there has to be 
two sides to this thing. It's not what the point of this is. The point of this is to recognize that struggle and challenges are what make life worth living. Doing daily vlogs is difficult. That's another reason why I'm doing it. I'm choosing to do something difficult because it's making me better at telling stories, at making films, and eventually I know this is gonna pay off. It might not look like it right now. There's like maybe 20 people who are consistently watching these videos and if you're one of them, I say thank you. But that's not the point. The point is I'm doing this to exercise my creativity and become a better storyteller. Diamonds are forged under pressure and this is the journey. Thanks for being here.